Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today I will try to make a comparison between the Trustmaster TDFB and the Logitech TrueForce. TDFB was released in 2017 as part of their flagship, the TGT, and can also be found on the TGT2. The idea was to add extra details to the existing force feedback protocols using the game telemetry. These effects would include revving of an engine, shifting, suspensions, and the boundaries of the track. True Force was first released in 2020 uh, with the Logitech G923 and later on with the G Pro. The idea was similar to what Trustmaster had in mind for TDFB, only the implementation of it differed quite a bit. If you look at the implementation of these uh, features, you have Trustmaster that has the bus shaker implemented in the wheelbase, uh, which generates the uh, the haptics. And then at the other side, you have uh, Logitech with the True Force that um, relies more on uh, on an extra algorithm and that uses the motor which they already have in place to just go to higher frequencies and make the, the haptics uh, like that. So it's a very different implementation of, of, uh, of the features for both. When it comes to force feedback without the TDFB, I can say that I can feel a lot of detail in the uh, in the TGT. So here, as I expected on the straight, I have a lot of detail there. You can feel the wheel slip, you can feel the curb, so everything is there. But it all feels so, yeah, a, a bit, a bit boring. And that is where the TDFB comes in. The settings for the TDFB can only be changed in the settings menu of Gran Turismo. You will need to set a level of intensity. Playing around with this is crucial. Set it too high and you will miss the details of the road. Set it too low and it will feel bland. It's a shame that it has such a limited amount of customization available. Sometimes less is better, but I wouldn't have mind being able to fine tune the effects a bit more. From the moment that you put on the TDFB, you know it is working. If you shift up, you will feel a jolt going through the wheelbase, through your uh, pedals. When you drive on this section, normally you only have a little bit of force feedback uh, coming from the details in the road, but not now because it is supplemented by the added um, depth force feedback coming from the TGT so in essence what it does is it just creates a bit more um, yeah a bit a, a bit more vibrations which makes you feel more in a car because when you drive a car like this well there are a lot a lot of forces that um, that are working. Since I tested this wheelbase for the first time more than two years ago, it was absolutely my favorite wheelbase, even trumping the Fanatec GTDD Pro that was its successor as official wheel for Gran Turismo. The Logitech G Pro without the true force on is much alike in this part of the the course with the TGT, it gives subtle details here, uh, not too much, nothing overwhelming, it's just a bit, a bit of bumps. The intensity between both is um, about the same, roughly the same, but of course taking corners with a direct drive is of a bit of another uh, level than you do with the TGT, which is a bit normal, uh, more smoother, it, it's more direct. Turn, yeah, it comes back uh, to the center much more quicker. So that's a big difference. But let's say that for the intensity of the force feedback, I don't have a noticeable difference here between the uh, TGT and uh, the Logitech one. True force settings can be configured on the G Pro menu. Here also you will need to take some time to tune the effects in such a way that they don't smother the road details. For certain games like iRacing, further customization can also be done via config files. So I um, halved the 
juice horse volume now. I put it on 30. So I st still feel the um, jolts when I shift. It's okay. And the overall volume is a lot less. So the road intensity, the, <clears throat> the vibrations that it generates now when it is driving is a lot less, which is good because you can feel more the details, um, details in the road itself as well. So with True Force, it is important that you don't put it too high because then when you will actually lose um, the, the details in the road as well. If you want to know how the details should feel in the road, if you cut it completely, then, um, then you can really feel how it should feel and then you just adapt true force towards the level that you are satisfied with that you can feel the extra uh, force feedback from the revving and from the the shifting but that you can also feel the details in the road and again i am very impressed with the quality of um, extra animo that this wheelbase creates Yeah, it it is more it it is more precise, I think. So the it's strange, but the the true force it feels more precise than the TDFB. Yeah, the TDFB is a bit raw. It, it's also a fact that you can't do a lot for the configuration of the TDFB. You can um, do it in the settings in uh, the game itself, itself in in Gran Turismo itself, but here. For the true force you can adapt it on the wheelbase too and the ability to be able to adapt it makes this much much um, uh, better for me when i tested the true force in the g923 i found it a yeah brutal experience true force in the g pro is much more subtle more refined the revving of the engine, for example, feels much more present with the True Force than with the TDFB. Not in intensity, but more in differentiation of the haptic feedback you feel. Compatibility is a bit of a sad story for Trustmaster because it is only compatible for the Gran Turismo franchise, uh, the Gran Turismo Sport, Gran Turismo 7. If there is a Gran Turismo 8, it also will be supported, uh, but that is it. Um, I think it has to do with uh, the licenses of touch sense that they are using to drive the um, uh, uh, the, the bus shaker, uh, but I'm not sure about this. So, but the fact is, it is only compatible for the um, the Gran Turismo franchise. When we look at the Logitech with the True Force, um, the list of games has grown already exponentially. I have tried it on uh, Gran Turismo, uh, Gran Turismo 7, works without a problem, works very good. Um, but I also tried it with BeamNG, Assetto Corsa, and really it is fantastic that it is implemented in that many games already. I really think this technology is uh, the future for the wheelbase, because if you look at what we see now, you have um, we have Fanatec that brought out the wheelbase, we have um, a Moza that brought out a better wheelbase, better technology, better quick release. Then we have Simagic that brought out better motor, better quick release. Oh yeah, it was a quick release, the same, better software. So they they, they, they built upon this, this one thing of direct drive, they build upon it. But at a certain moment, the differences between the wheelbases, they get so minimal that you really need to look at other uh, uh, types of of uh, technology that you can use to enhance the immersion. And I, from the moment that I tried the TDFB, I was sold for it. So I really want to see this uh, technology in more uh, wheelbases coming from those manufacturers. Fanatec, uh, with their full force, has understood that it is very important and it implemented it in their new wheelbases. The problem is they don't have any games to run it at this moment. So that's a bit of a uh, lesser point, but from the moment that they implement it, I will be sure to test it out also uh, and uh, compare it to uh, to the, the ones that I have here. So uh, yeah, for me, really, this is the future. It's not just a gimmick. It improves the overall um, 
the overall sensation immersion so much that yeah it's really really a nice feature to have when this comparison started, the TDFB was already the loser of the match because of its exclusiveness. But for those that love Gran Turismo, it's a fantastic upgrade nonetheless. It won't necessarily improve your lap times, but it will improve the fun you have while driving. I like the extra transducer concept a lot, and it can feel more intense than the G-Pro. On the other hand, the true force is more sensible, and because it is in contact with one of the most haptic sensitive parts of our body, it transfers the different sensations better. You can always have more deep effects that mimic road conditions or curb by another type of extra haptics like a next level racing HF8 or butt kicker. Those rougher effects would make a very fine combination with the fine effects of the true force when it comes to immersion and the fun of simulated driving in general. At the moment of this video, the True Force variant of Fanatec has been implemented in iRacing, but users have not seen any difference yet. After iRacing, ACC and Gran Turismo will be up next, so very exciting times ahead. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I will see you all next video. Bye bye.